If I could describe the season in one word, it would definitely be Well, Deborah, this season of our hit show promises pretty much everything except the kitchen sink. Actually, I do believe we do uh, so fly, a kitchen, outfit today. We fly a kitchen sink in, yeah, for episode two. It has everything. It has all of the topics, all of the drama, all of the juice, all of the flavor, all of the fun, all of the intrigue and wigs and stuff. And in the first episode, we said it was a season of looks. I think it is. It's the best season. It's yeah. the funniest season. I can't stop looking at her breasts. And I can't stop. Get a shot of this, Beverly. Yeah. Um, it's really good for my ADHD because um, it keeps me focused and grounded in the present moment. Uh, I hope you like this outfit because it's what I'm going to wear for the next 30s. Actually, we're signed on for three seasons of 30 each. So I hope you like this orange swimsuit. 90 episodes. And don't get it twisted because the exotic fashion diva walk will slay you until the cows sashay. Home Devo, they work it, they own it, they wear it. We're giving you fierce diva fashions every episode. We're slaying it all the time because we're the dolls who wear the clothes who are the divas. At this point, <laughs> the dolls are the, the dolls. dolls. I'm always serving an exciting mix of custom clothing, custom period clothing. I love. Period clothing, which is what I do now. Period. Period. Yeah. Clothing on period. Food. And um, this is literally a twelve dollars swimsuit from Amazon. Mama, so, but I guess what it, but when it cradles these eight thousand pound authentic breast implants. Yeah. This is the thousand pound sisters. Yeah. Right here. What are their names? Uh, Debbie and uh, Alan. Uh, yeah. Debbie and Alan. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part of working together is that I get to experience. Um, what is it called when you have to like get up for stuff and do things? Responsibility. Work. Responsibility. Yeah, work. Responsibility. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd just probably be in the woods. Well, you know, life is what happens between planning things. And this is never planned. We just kind of are both walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Uh, panhandling. Yeah. Flying by the seat of our pants moment to moment, you know. Yeah. And I see her across the street and I think, who do I think you are? Who's that woman in Tuang Fu? Ellen Barkin. No, in Tu Wang Fu, she is in love Stalker with the Channing. African American man. Stalker Chan. There's like the gossip at now. She's like, he is so handsome. Uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's yeah. her. And we see each other and we go, eh, and she goes, eh. and we come down we mean here. different things. Yeah. But that's what creates the magic. We've taken a rather basic concept and kept it interesting and more interesting. This is the best season. We've all ha we've had these turds in our hands and with the help of an incredible crew in ourselves. We turn them into, you know, beautiful gold turd salad. And, you know, season six of Buffy the Vampire Slayer was the worst one. So what do you say to that, Sarah Michelle? Checkmate, bitch. Yeah. Game on, diva. We're going to slay you this round. Alison Green going to DM me. Oh, yeah. Again. Again. Yes. Yes. Whenever we talk about a celebrity on this show, don't worry. Or any other show, don't worry. They, they do hear about it. Yeah. We have had, uh, on this show and other shows, instances where we – Balls to the wall, make fun of someone, and they DM being like, I laugh my ass off. Yeah. We just talked about Todrick Hall, and he texts me crying, yeah. like voice messages, crying, laughing. So people yeah. like when we talk about them. It's yeah. a compliment. We like read Christine from Selling Sunset, uh, to the house down. And, and she, she loved she it. Was like, she was like, step on my neck, my dreams come true. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Besides, it, we, besides, we have editors, I mean, who, you know, Jeff and Ron really create the show, and Pete. And they edit out the worst things we say. So yeah. the cutting room floor would really be the criminal behavior, but you guys get the nice, sunny stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of times we look right at the camera and go, don't use this, and then say vile sh I want to move on. Yeah. We could probably be in jail right now very easily. Yeah, especially you. Yeah. Would you two ever have a celeb co-host, and who would it be? I will, I will say, I tragically die. And uh, we need a replacement. But not surprisingly. Not surprisingly. Tragically. Tragically, of course. Oh. And after two weeks of mourning, that's all I will, two weeks is enough. Um, we replaced me with Kelly Ripa. A Kelly Ripa. Yeah, I think Kelly Ripa would be great. Kelly Ripa would be great. Um, we don't really do well with we, we, we don't do well with guests. No, no, no. We can't have a guest. We can't even handle each other. No. It takes two to tango and three to throw at the trash. It's not good. 
you already got Sybil. Yeah. And you know, I don't know um, what I would be. You are uh, A Rod. Sure. Yeah. A Rod. A Aaron Rodgers. No, no, Aaron Rodriguez. Or no, um, former uh, lover of Jennifer Lopez, the baseball player, Alex Rodriguez. I would like to see it. Yeah. You can check it out every Wednesday on Wild Presents Plus or on YouTube, a censored version. If you want to see the raw, <gasps> oh, uncut uh, version, uh, check it uh, out on Wild Presents Plus. Uh, oh, your nipple, oh, your nipple, your hot, hard smuggling raisins. I'm not sorry. Those it's are like medjool dates. Yes. The medjool dates. Yeah, don't miss it. And uh, pay the five dollars. It's worth it. Who wants censorship? If you like independent gay artists getting paid, please subscribe. Yeah, gay owned and operated, Mary. What was what YouTube done for gay people lately? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, they oh, give you a lot of money. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's, <laughs> true. that's true. That's true. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Love YouTube. Love we love you, girl. Love yeah. YouTube. Coming back to Wild Presents Plus on July twenty first. So don't miss it. Plus, do what I do. Get Wild Presents Plus and then text your friends who don't have it. Oh my god, the new episode's so funny. I wish you could see it. Yeah, I wish you could see Too it. Too bad you can't. I don't have five dollars to lend you, but I do have this gorgeous mule. I'm the mule. You're the mule.